Hi guys, this is Mike with Bigfoot Trailers. I'm gonna tell you about our new 14K and 17K I-Beam equipment trailers. We're gonna start off talking about the stuff up here in the front of the trailer, uh, which is a lot of really great stuff. We have a Demco Easy Latch Coupler, which is the best there is. It's made in the United States. It's one of the few that are made in the United States. And um, it always goes on the ball. Even when it's closed, it's gonna go on the ball, which makes it really easy to work with this trailer. Instead of having to jack it up, and then move the truck three times before you get everything aligned, it's always gonna go right on the ball. The uh, jack that we use on almost all of our equipment trailers is the 12,000 uh, pound spring leg jack. So when you get it, the weight on the truck, you don't have to crank it all the way up. You just pull the, the pin and it's gonna retract automatically. Um, all of our trailers have adjustable safety chains so you don't have to twist them and have them drag it on the ground. You can actually adjust it to fit your truck the best. You can see that we use very heavy duty adjustable uh, plates uh, welded to the front of the trailer so that uh, you don't have to worry about it breaking off. You'll see a lot of trailers with a chintzy coupler on it. This is nowhere near that. All of our trailers have a uh, float charger built into the battery system for the breakaway kit. That way you know it's always gonna be charged the time that it actually comes off your truck and the, the emergency brakes need to come on. You can see one of the cool things about this I-beam frame trailer is the integrated tongue, where the trailer frame and the tongue are all one piece. What that does is um, it gives you a lot better ground clearance. You see on a lot of equipment trailers, especially the 14K equipment trailers, you're gonna see where you have a channel frame and then a channel tongue that comes underneath and it's about six inches closer to the ground. By doing this integrated eight inch I-beam frame, we get a lot better ground clearance. So when you're going into job sites, you'll see that, that you're not having nearly the chance of hitting things with the frame and bending up the tongue. One of the cool things about this trailer is the extremely heavy duty uh, bump rail. A lot of trailers, they just have a fabricated bump rail this piece of metal adds a, a super amount of torsional stability to keep the trailer from being too flexible when you're going off-road in bumpy situations with a heavy load. Okay, another really cool feature about a Bigfoot trailer is the way we install our fenders and how heavy duty the fenders are. 90% of the 14K to 17K equipment trailers on the market buy stamped fenders from one of the two big fender manufacturers and they're all 14 gauge metal, which is really thin compared to ours, which are eighth inch plate steel instead of 14 gauge sheet metal. We actually fabricate our fenders in-house. They look just like the stamped ones, but they're much heavier duty. So another really important feature about a Bigfoot trailer is how we mount the fenders. Most equipment trailers are made in large factories um, and they're meant to be stacked. So they make their, their fenders removable which sounds like a upgrade or a neat feature, but if you talk to any dealer that sells a lot of equipment trailers, they'll tell you that one of their biggest warranty problems is fenders rattling off the trailers because they're just bolted on with little brackets. Bigfoot doesn't sell to dealers all over the country, so we're not motivated to try to figure out how to stack eight trailers on a semi high, so we don't need to have our fenders removable. They're welded on and they're solid, they're much thicker, and therefore have a lot less problems. How many of the other guys' trailers can hold a 300-pound Bigfoot on the fenders without flexing them or bending them? We use Dexter axles on these trailers. On the, uh, on the 14K, you get 7,000-pound axles. On the 17K, we use 8,000-pound Dexter axles, always with forward self-adjusting brakes, always with brakes on all four wheels. That's the way, it's the right way to build a trailer. Anybody that sells a trailer that has brakes on one axle is only giving you seven, if this is a 14K trailer and you have a 7,000 pounds axle with brakes on it and one that does not have brakes on it, then you only have 7,000 pounds worth of stopping power, which is less than that skid steer weighs. So a lot of trailers don't have a lot of D-rings or tie down points on their trailers. We put 10 on this trailer. There's five D-rings going down this side and five on that side. That way you'll have no problem being able to tie down any machine anywhere on the trailer, any way you want to. So anyway, one of the nice features about a Bigfoot is the long 60 inch ramps that we use. A lot of our competitors use 48 inch ramps, which makes it a lot steeper to get up on the trailer with the skid steer or especially with a mini excavator can be tough. Um, but with the 60 inch long ramps, three inch channel, 
4.5 pounds per foot, which is a heavy duty uh, rail for compared to a lot of our competitors. Um, you have a ramp that's gonna just hold up for years and years being driven on by heavy machines. One of the options on this trailer to keep the price fair, we've left the springs off the ramps. It's not that heavy to lift, but if customers want springs, we do offer it as an upgrade or an option. So you can see that just with one hand, they can be lifted, but it is easier with the springs. One of the things I'm always proud of to show on our trailers is how we build all of our light boxes or how we mount our lights. Um, all Pretty much everybody that builds these equipment trailers buys these uh, stamped little sheet metal light holders and welds them on the side of the trailer. And you see them every day going down the road, bent, broke off the trailer. Um, we call these the tree movers because they'll actually move the tree instead of the tree moving them. But um, this is all 316s fabricated steel. The whole rear end is integrated. So when you hit this, it's not gonna just bend off or break your lights. Most trailers today are powder coated. And every single day when I'm driving down the road, I see trailers where the powder coat paint is starting to flake off the trailer and it literally is coming off in sheets. In 2024, Bigfoot Trailers partnered with Exalta to put Imron on every single one of our trailers. So we use a two-part epoxy primer uh, with machinery that mixes the paint with in a two-part system while it's being sprayed on the trailer. And the top coat is a polyurethane, similar to what they, exactly similar to what they use on airliners, trains, Freightliner semis, Great Dane semi-trailers, all the big guys use exactly this type of paint on their stuff that's gotta go down the road and not get the paint pummeled off. You look at 90% of trailers that are going down the road and you're gonna see on the front bump rail where the truck has been flinging rocks and stuff at this, within just one month, you'll start seeing pit spots on this paint. You're gonna be blown away with how long it lasts, even when it's getting blasted by rocks and stuff going down the road. They don't powder coat your skid steer and that, and that paint literally sits out in the sun for years. And yeah, it'll fade a little bit over years, but look at that thing's like five years old, been sitting out in the Florida sun and it still looks that good. And there's not a lot of trailers that look like that after five years. But this one will, cause painted with the same paint as that. Okay, once again, I'm Mike from Bigfoot Trailers. And if you wanna get a Bigfoot trailer for yourself, don't forget to go to our website or give us a call. Oh, you want me to real do, really do that again? Yeah. Okay. There ain't nothing sexy about a trailer. You got it? Yeah, I'm rolling. Most important thing to know is that this trailer will haul 11,000 pounds plus one 300 pound Bigfoot. I don't think I can sit because these pants, these aren't that great of pants, but there's a bunch of grease up here. The, maybe I can. It's not too bad back here. <clears throat> Geronimo? <laughs>